Then we got Kane. Then we got Damon. There we go. No one is likely to mistake these ball players for Jose Bautista, Edwin Encarnacion, or Mark Burley. But unlike those Toronto Blue Jays superstars, these guys are guaranteed a spot at the upcoming Major League Baseball All-Star Game. The players, who are part of the Boys and Girls Club of Saskatoon, have been selected by the Blue Jays and the Jays Care Foundation to take part in the festivities in Minneapolis next month despite the fact that many picked up a glove for the first time just a few months ago. Oh, some of them have never, ever played. Um, and so, you know, the first few weeks, we, it was pretty fumbly. <laughs> uh, they're getting the hang of it. They will be the lone Canadian representatives in Minneapolis during All-Star Week at the Baseball Academy Rookie League program. But the selection of this particular All-Star team had more to do with off-the-field skills than those found on the diamond. These guys weren't chosen on their ability to play ball. It was their attitude, their leadership, their involvement with boys and girls clubs and, um, you know, the way they take part and engage in, in what we do and basically set an example to the other kids in the club. Target Field in Minneapolis, where the All-Star festivities will take place, is a world away from the diamonds many of these players grew up near in more ways than one. A lot of the programs uh, that we run, they're in neighborhoods that aren't really considered safe, and uh, which is why we're there um, as boys and girls clubs. And so uh, when you're looking at needles and, uh, you know, different times we've had to phone police in different areas that we've been on because of, or been in because of what goes on in the neighborhood. The Blue Jays' selection of the Saskatoon Club to represent them at the All-Star break is just the latest chapter in the relationship between the team and our city. It has also featured player visits and training camps, as well as working with Saskatoon Minor Baseball to find safe places for this team to practice and play. To even come out as far as Saskatchewan, um, that means a lot to our baseball community, which is, which is frankly growing this year. And uh, so this is a great opportunity for the kids to, to see, uh, you know, that they can be active and they can join a team and they have the opportunity to play baseball, which is a great game. The trip to Minneapolis will see the team play about two games a day, in addition to taking in all-star activities like the Futures game in mid-July. But I don't think they actually fully understand um, what this is going to mean to them or what they're actually getting into until they get there. You know, they know they're going to go on a plane for most of them. Some of them haven't been out of Saskatoon, never mind, you know, the province or the country. So this is going to be amazing. For Go Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt.